They say this is the most complicated thing when it comes to reading Korean. Let me help you with reading Pachim in Korean. Do you see the two consonants that I circled above? They are called Pachim. Pachim is an actual word in Korean that means support. And one thing to keep in mind, these Pachims are always going to be consonants, never the vowels. Let's take a look at some examples. Here the first consonant is silent, so we're only going to pronounce the vowel O as in oh no. Then we have Pachim. But when this consonant goes as a Pachim, it actually makes a T sound, not a S sound. So you would say O. Here's our next example. We have the consonant D, and then we have a vowel O again as in oh no. And then we have Pachim mm, so put an N. And this will make Don, which means money. You got this! Today, let's take a look at the consonant G as a pachim. When G goes as a pachim, it actually turns into a K sound. These are the consonants with the vowel A, so it sounds like ka na ta ra ma pa sa a ja cha ka ta pa ha. So if I put this pachim on these, ka will turn into ka. Na will turn into na. Ta will turn into also, it's really important to know that this K is pronounced only halfway, so it's not tak, it's tak. Let's try one last one. So ha will turn into ha. You got this. Today, let's take a look at a consonant S as a pachim. When the S consonant goes as a pachim, it actually turns into a T sound. Here, we have all 14 consonants with a vowel A, ka, na, ta, ra, ma, ba, sa, so if I put this pachim on the first letter here, it's gonna be ka with t. Kat. Now let's put it here. This one is a silent and a, and then if I put this one on the bottom, it's gonna be a. And let's try one more. If I put it here, it's gonna be hat. You got this. Today let's take a look at a consonant n. As a pachim. This is actually a silent consonant, but when it's placed as a pachim, it makes a ng sound. It's really important to remember when this consonant comes in the beginning like this, it makes no sound, but when it's placed as a pachim like this, it makes a ng sound. So here we have 14 consonants with a vowel a, ka na ta ra ma ba sa, a ja cha ka ta pa ha. Now if I place this as a pachim here, it's a g. A ka with the ang tang. And if I put it here, it's t a ta with the ang tang. You get this. I'm pronouncing this word. Did you say it like it all you? It's actually pronounced as it saw you. Pachim here. S is carrying over to the next syllable. And the rule here is, if there is pachim in a syllable, and if the next syllable starts with a yung, which is silent, we carry over the sound of pachim to the next syllable. So you would say, it saw you, not it all you. For example, you can say, 남자친구, boyfriend, it saw you, or girlfriend, 여자친구, it saw you. Try pronouncing this word. Did you say it like ob a yo? It's actually pronounced as ob sa yo. And the rule here is if there is pachim like this and the next door starts with a silent consonant, you would actually carry over the sound of pachim to next door. But here there are two pachims. Do you see it? B and s. In that case, you would just pronounce b as a pachim and you would carry over the second pachim to next door. So it becomes obsayo. So you can say something like 남자친구가 없어요. 여자친구가 없어요. Or time 시간이 없어요. You got this. Try pronouncing this word. Did you say it like 맛있어요? It's actually pronounced as 맛있어요. And the rule here is, if there is pachim like this and the next door has silent syllable 이음, you would actually carry over the pachim sound to next door. So this S syllable right here will be pronounced here. 맛있 And right here, double S will also carry over to next door and say 맛있어요. And 맛있어요 means delicious, so you can say 햄버거, hamburger, 맛있어요. 
Is this letter in Korean silent or not silent? Let me help you with this letter. When this comes in the beginning like this, it's gonna be always silent. But when this letter comes as a 받침 like this, 받침 is a final consonant that's always placed on the bottom, it will always make a 응 sound. So let's read this word together looking at my anchor chart. Here, the first letter is going to be silent because it came in the beginning, so we'll only pronounce the vowel. The vowel here is a. And then we have a 받침, which is placed on the bottom. We have an, so we'll write n. So that will make an. And then here, next syllable, we have a n here. And then I'm going to write n with the yo vowel yo. And then this time, it's going to be ng sound because it came as a 받침. So that will make 안녕, which means hello.